uh, it is about 7.15 now. I'm taking my dinner at Marichi Reservoir. The time is about 7.40 now. I will start my walk. Uh, I plan to do a very slow night walk to see how is it like. I think uh, I think uh, there are security camera all around. A bit of thunder, a bit of lightning on the sky. Actually, it is quite totally dark. Uh, I need the torch light to be on so that I can walk. I have to be careful. It is totally dark. Uh, and uh, it's pitch dark when you look behind you uh, actually my concern is whether this torch light without fresh battery can last me long, long enough uh, I got two smaller torch lights with me Earlier today, I was in the afternoon. I participated in a guided Lamtor streams walk uh, from about four to six o'clock. So it's not really a fresh start for me this evening. Uh, yeah, it's getting quite dark actually. Uh, it is eight thirty-two. I have reached the what do you call that? Uh, the usual way that go down to tree top walk uh, rest for a few minutes here it's brighter over here about 8 38 so this is a short short segment with the road and there are street lights so it's very good i should be able to complete the whole trail but then tomorrow is also a working day for me i hope i'm not too tired for work tomorrow. See this uh, torch light is quite poor. Uh, it only shine about at most three meter, less than three meter. In fact, ahead of me, uh, it doesn't show me. Further up, doesn't show my much, so I keep the light right near my feet. Okay, I think uh, ahead of me is the ranger station. I will keep quiet here.
here it is slightly bright I can walk without my torch light but soon I will be getting to the canopy and uh, I will need my torch light to be switched on again oh, I can feel a slight drizzle I hope it will not rain actually walking at night is a totally different experience it's uh, rather nice but, uh, I think the is drizzling I may have to use my umbrella very soon or I may just walk simply walk in the rain uh, it is uh, raining and I'm uh, using an umbrella uh, my hands are... I'm actually holding quite a lot of things in my hands and uh, uh, you can see the umbrella yeah. Yeah. I will continue, I, th I think I reached the, the, the part with the short part with the board walk it's about uh, 9.18 uh, I think the rain has stopped just now I was saying I was holding a lot of things in my hands basically I'm holding my handphone uh, a plastic bag of coca-cola a plastic bag with a coca-cola in it my umbrella and of course this torch light oh I dropped something uh, what did I drop earlier at one of the darker parts I was quite sure that uh, a few meters in front of me there was a figure that uh, moved from left to right across the track uh, I actually aimed my torchlight at it uh, but sees nothing although faintly I, I was quite sure it, it was like someone without a torchlight walking across the track okay this is the beautiful part of the reservoir Water is on my left. Uh, I think I'm finishing the track quite fast actually. Uh, yes, uh, water is also on my right now, so I'm walk walking in between the two uh, two parts where the water are. And it's uh, not too dark here actually. I am uh, now using my smaller torch light that I just bought this afternoon. It's so much brighter. It is a uh, white light instead of the yellow light just now. Uh, fresh batteries. It looks quite good. Yes, I can even adjust it to be sharper. Yeah, this is a much better torch light. That's the seven kilometer mark. It's 9.39 and I've reached the fork again. Uh, this way is to the boardwalk. Uh, this way is through the trail. I will take the trail. It should be shorter than the boardwalk but harder to walk. Actually, uh, taking a rest at Jering Hut uh, to keep my umbrella back in my backpack. It's very nice and quiet here, and uh, it's almost towards the end of this trail.
actually if I'm not videoing uh, I can hold two torches in one in each hand the white one shine ahead while the orange one near my feet so that I can see and uh, this is holding two torches in my left hand the two torches in my left hand the white light looks like the is getting dimmer quite fast probably because it's uh, using the fresh battery quite quickly you so while the orange torch orange light torch light is still still usable but uh, I think it's good to bring at least three torch lights for such night hikes and if you are going in a with going as a group or going with somebody the person who in front will probably have to take a lot of spider webs just now and then uh, I, will, I can feel spider web uh, across my face and uh, we got two joggers in front of me And uh, another point was that when uh, before you reach the golf course, the area where you can actually take the left or the right uh, around the PUB, some PUB station, it's better you take the one on the right because on the left there's a CCTV. Uh, the left is the one nearer the water edge. There's a CCTV. Uh, it's about 10 14 uh, I'm still walking I should be reaching the end very soon unless uh, I took taken a wrong turn somewhere but I doubt it I've uh, walked several times yes uh, in the daytime so I should know the trail very well and yes uh, this is the exit. Now I will walk along Merichi to the bus stop. So now it's about 10.15 or 10.16. So I'll say about two and a half hours of walk for this uh, 11 kilometer trail. So it seems that I've walked quite quickly. Namely because I, the initial part I was afraid my battery will not last for my torch. I think I will go to the main bus stop instead of the one before the main bus stop. is 1026 so I'm heading for the I'm heading to the bus stop now uh, so that ends this video this uh, walking session I will want to do it again uh, but we better uh, I think I'll do it better the second time